That law, Labor Law Section 240, has been in existence for a long time in this state. What it's designed to do is when workers are working at elevated heights, it's designed to make sure that the employer takes all the necessary precautions in order to assure that those workers' safety has been protected. If they don't do so, they're responsible. The law has been effective in protecting workers' safeties in the workplace, and I support it. Ms. Brown. I absolutely, I would absolutely like to see a repeal of the scaffold law. Or actually, let me clarify. The scaffold law provides, or like, put, imposes an absolute liability standard on the contractor who has the project going on and the owner. So if someone falls off of a scaffold and it's due to their own negligence, the builder and the contractor and the owner are absolutely liable. They have no defense, no mitigating defenses. No matter what they are, it doesn't matter. They're absolutely liable. And this really dissuades people from coming to New York and building. For builders to come to New York and contractors, in addition to uh, to uh, imposing an additional cost of $10,000 on a home in Buffalo. This scaffold law increases liability insurance for builders up to 300% more than in any other state. So it's crippling us from, from moving forward and having new business come here and build new buildings because if they can go to another state like Utah or somewhere else that doesn't have this antiquated senseless law where we should have a comparative negligence standard instead of an absolute liability standard, then we're sunk. Our kids aren't coming back here. Next question. Thank you. 